Hey, welcome back to Finding Paradise. So we finally defeated Faye, the final boss, and, well, I've gotten a lot better over the past few days, and we recently hit 300 subscribers, so thank you so much for that. I feel like doing something special for the new year. Anyway, let's continue. Didn't exactly sick that soft field landing, huh? Not like I had much practice on an actual grass trip. Huh. So, we are in the vortex of his memories. Weird. So, uh, you think this is a case of schizophrenia? Well, with that, the patient usually has trouble actively distinguishing delusion from reality. But in this case, I get the feeling that he's actually well aware of it. Still can't say for certain, but I'm leaning towards some kind of defense mechanism instead. So really just some imaginary friend. The more curious question is how she's able to materialize here so vividly. Hmm. You think she's still able to see us? Hard to say, but she shouldn't be able to interfere for now at least. This seems to be just a normal memory playback. Huh. Okay. I still don't trust her. What you waiting for? Come on! Haven't you ever heard of the phrase, stop and smell the roses? There are flowers on top of the hill too, you know. I'll race you there. Cute. I totally expect for my heartstrings to be pulled in this episode, because it is the last and final episode of uh, Finding Paradise. I was thinking, it's a little windy today. Maybe we should come back some other time instead. Oh, don't be such a downer. We're practically already there. Hey, remember when we played Catch Me If You Can? The wind? Doesn't seem windy, does it? It wasn't there a moment ago. Oh. Okay, what's the matter now? Let's just rest here for a while. Again? You barely walked any steps. Hey, I'm the one who has to carry this thing uphill. Well, I just thought you had gotten stronger by now, that's all. Chill got bigger too, you know. <laughs> just come and sit here with me for a bit, will you? Do you remember the first time we came here? Which first time? The second one, I guess. What? The one where I tried to race you up the hill. Oh yeah, that was a dumb move. Sure were excited to take me up here, though. Yeah, it had been a while since I took anyone there. It's still one of my favorite places. I've always liked how it overlooked the city. It really has been a while, hasn't it? I rather miss going there. So why are you hesitating? Hmm? We're mere steps away from there, you know? Why are you stopping every step along the way? Stop kidding yourself, Colin. You're not tired, and it's not the wind. What? We've already come so far. You know as well as I what we have to do. What? Definitely doesn't seem right. Something's up. The 
first time we came here. That was the first time I accompanied you to play the scales too, wasn't it? Yeah, it helped. It still does, actually. Well, no one likes to practice scales alone. But you could never actually hear what I was playing, could you? up there today. It always is. This looks so nice. You don't have to leave anymore. I can fly now. Wherever you go, I can go with you. You really are stubborn, aren't you? Don't you think you're getting a bit too old for me to stay? People would laugh at you if they knew. They can laugh all they want. I don't care. You made me who I am today. I learned to fly because of you. I kept playing the cello because of you. Look at the little clouds. You taught me to practice the skills. No, Colin. I can't teach you anything you don't know, nor can I make you do anything you don't want. Maybe all you really wanted was for someone to be there. Even if it was just someone like me. I know it's mesmerizing here, Colin. You've been spending so much time with me, imagining what couldn't be. Don't you think you're forgetting what actually is and all that could be? Sometimes, stepping out of this little world we've made is the only way to notice and appreciate all the beautiful things around you. I just don't want to be alone. Sure, if I go, you'll be alone at times even if you don't want to be. But that's all a part of growing up, and it's all a part of life. It's what makes fleeting moments with loved ones treasured, and our memories precious. It's also what drives you to seek out what you wouldn't find if you just stayed here with me. There's a lot out there just waiting for you, Colin. I can't promise it'll always be good, but... I know you won't find all that you need living only in these pages of ours. You brought me into this world. I won't forget that. And while some things are meant to stay, some are only meant to carry you so far. In my own way. You know I'll always be there to protect you. And whatever comes, it's if it's something we could do, then it's something you could do. What do you say, Colin? Are you ready? I think I'm ready for it to end. I don't care what you are or aren't. You are my first real friend. Hey, this doesn't have to be the end for us. 
One day, you might look back and realize how fast this precious life has passed you by. And on that day, I'll come back once more. We'll talk like how we used to talk, and you'll tell me about your day. No, about your life. You'll tell me about what a happy, li happy life you've had, and all the nice memories we've made. I might not have such a happy life, you know. You're such a downer, you know that? Have a little faith in yourself, Colin. Of course you will. I know you will. It may take a long time, and it may take a lot of work and effort. <clears throat> Excuse me. When that day comes, I know you'll have a lot of happy memories to share. Ah, it's almost time. How much have you written in that book by now? You've replaced its pages so many times, huh? I must talk a lot. Sorry about that. But now that I'm going, perhaps you could finally spare more pages for other things. It's your book. You don't have to always write about me anymore. It's just like life, right? Same book filled with all kinds of different pages as it should be. Take care of yourself, all right? Hey. I still haven't said goodbye yet. You already have, Colin. Aw. time ago. She never came back, did she? Guess not. I wonder if she's a cause or an effect. Hmm? As in, do you think Colin's unhappy because she never came back again? If Colin only wanted to see her again, I doubt he would've needed to call Oz. Yeah, so perhaps her absence at the end meant that he was already ha unhappy by then. Back to square one. This place is destabilizing again. We don't have much time left. Let's move. We have to make do with what we have. So why is he upset? Why Why is he unhappy? I don't... still don't understand. Let's walk into a flower. Oh, wait, what? Oh, we have to... Mm. The book. Wait, do we even know what we're doing with him yet? I have a few ideas to try, but we still need to link the mementos first. Let's get back to the overworld and figure things out while we do that. Alright. No, we're not. What? What the heck? Uh, we just... How is he gonna... How is he gonna get back now? Now what? My own way, I will always be there to protect you. Is that Faye? Or... Shit. Neil? What's taking you so long? This place is falling apart. There's no time to wait for him. Connect Colin's life? Ah, oh, shit. 
Here. You. Okay. No, that's not right. Shit. <laughs> I didn't expect things to go intense all of a sudden. I thought we were having a calm moment. trying everything. Okay. Here, look. Viscous Jello. And then the paper planes. There we go. Okay, now what? I think that's all of them, but... Where the fuck is Neil? What? Oh, thank god. Was that a... Where did that come from? I thought she was gonna die. What is this place? Is Faye doing all this? Is she trying to show me something? His memories, they're falling apart. Suddenly, there's no more time. And I find myself here, just like everyone else. I just want to feel like I've done enough in this world before I go, you know? That's why we're here, Colin. Tell us your regrets. What is it that you want us to fix? This is at Sigmund. Is uh, what is this? Call them. When you go through the procedure and live that new life, just hold on to something from here. It's not like that, Via. I won't forget about you. so little time in this life, and we'd never be able to do all that we want. No matter what we do, there'd always be some other things we'd want to try, other paths to take. The aquarium? It's from, uh, Bora Bora. It's spell on your dress? Hey, just one more excuse to jump into the lagoon. You know, we don't have to waste all that lemon juice. Have you ever tried riding with it? Oh. Lemon juice? No. Why? Ha! Huh, I've prepared to be mind blown by some elementary school magic. Get this. It's invisible ink. Invisible ink. Yep, the writing appears in color only when you heat the paper up. Come on, I'll show you. Let's write something with it. It's been a while since I've written. Well, never too late to start again. 
How about a letter? To who? Each other, of course. We could write about this trip. It's been kind of a journey, hasn't it? At the end of it, we could show each other what we wrote of it all. Why was this not a part of it, that memory earlier? Maybe Faye didn't want us to see it? Why would you even consider this is their fight? Why would you toss aside everything we have for something make believe? I'm not tossing anything aside. We all have regrets, be it writing a wrong or dreamlike past. At Sigmund Corp, we give you that second chance to make things right. Because with our help, it's never too late. Wait, these don't seem like just randomly scattered memories. Could it be that the set is wearing off? So they're trying to show us something? You are different, even from the man you were when I first met you. You're no longer aloof, you know? When you're here, you're actually here. Oh, I just went back. Hold on. I know it's mesmerizing here, Faye spoke after a pause, shifting her gaze back up to the sky. But you've been spending so much time with me and imagining what couldn't be. What? Don't you think you're forgetting what actually is and all that could be? Okay, look, I got it. I got your message, you hear me? Oh my god. I know you're still here. You can come and get me now. Damn it, I really thought it was her. Wait a minute. Uh, wait, is that really the only way to... So she just, what? She's the character in his novel, or? Where the heck have you been? I figured it out, Eva. I figured out the impossible. I mean, it only took an unholy amount of spoon feeding, but <laughs> I guess that's what it takes when we're on the inside of it. What are you talking about? Yes, just what? are you talking about? It's Faye. <laughs> no one would have ever guessed. The sedative, it wore off already? You don't sound too happy about it. We're here to help Colin, and you're the mental process that's in the way. Well, lucky for you, that can be amended now, can it? She's not in the way, though. So, looks like we're about out of time. If you're going to erase me for good, you might as well hurry. No, we're not gonna erase you. We're gonna erase us. What? Wait, what? Colin never needed our service, Eva. He already had her. The ability to change the reality, to live in a different world. One that filled the gaps of what he wanted all in his head. She is what we do, Eva. And yet she left. She left, which could have only meant one thing. Oh, 
what you're trying to imply. No, that can't be right. What we do is different from just this. How is it different? We... Because there's more to it. There's more to what we do. We fulfill wishes. We give meaning to people's lives. What we do... It has to be more than that, just that of an imaginary friend. It's a lot more elaborate for sure. But for someone who had to fight just to let go of fantasy and embrace reality. Maybe our existence was merely an unwelcome amplifier. A reminder of the make-believe, the imaginary. And the endless possibilities that make reality seem less than what it is. Hey, you two... Things aren't looking good with the patient. I don't know what you're up to, but you might want to get out of there. And by might wanna, I mean need to. Shit. After all that, huh? I guess none of this even matters anymore. There's no way we still have the time to implement any actual changes. No, we might not have the time. What about her? She's already linked to the machine's interface, right? Without us, all the procedures would be internalized. So much could be done in a fraction of a moment. So she's gonna insert herself back into the second half of Colin's life? You're suggesting giving sole control to, of the machine to a, a mental process of the patient? The ethical implications of that it hasn't been done for good reasons. It hasn't been done because no patient had a, has had a chance like this. Besides, what's our alternative? Just leave and mark this as a write-off? But what about legal complications? And the contract, it says... Oh, come on, Eva. When has the contract stopped us? Uh, guys? Go on, I'll be right behind. Don't say I never trust you. Why are you doing this for us? Neil is getting serious. Well, if I were calling in on my last breath, I'd trust you over two strangers in white coats, right? Strangers, huh? Your colleague was right about one thing. There is more to what you do than just playing God with people's memories. You've been here for just a day, yet... In all his lifetime, no one else has truly seen the world through his eyes like you have. And, well, you're kind of the first I've been able to meet, too. In some silly way. Maybe that's a part of what Colin really wished for. It was one heck of a meet and greet, that's for sure. Full admin access transfer to... Faye. You gonna be alright? Just a little nervous, I guess. Well, given the circumstances, I'd say that's pretty alright. Hey. Do you think that in some ways, I've truly existed? Well, for what it's worth. <clears throat> I think all our memories and everything in it can be nothing but the fiction we tell ourselves. Good luck out there. Colin's counting on you.
His blood pressure is dropping. Vital signs are fading fast. I think he's letting go. I'm sorry for your loss. Please take all the time you need. Yes, I'm crying. You don't have to rub it in. I'll be in the living room with the paperwork. When they're ready, let them know. They need a moment. Look. Not, she's not going to say anything about it? Always a little stark, isn't it? Seeing it like that after just having been in there. Eh, it is what it is. I'm just a little cold. Felt warmer in there. What we did back there, do you know if it worked? Hard to say. I'll try to dig through the data afterward, but. Well, it's never been done like this before. I don't know how coherent it'd be. Guess we got another mess of a report to write. We can take, uh, take care of that when the dust settles. In the meantime, I just remembered something. She knows, right? So, did you succeed? There was a complication. We try to cope with something unorthodox, but I'm not sure if we'll ever know what really happened in those last moments. Hey, Sophia said you got a lighter? Uh, yeah. Don't accidentally burn it, please. There's a lamp right there. Wait, so he did... He wrote his last moments in there.
as we dream and as we grow. We have to learn to let things go. But let the wonder never fade. Though we've turned ten thousand pages, flying higher, stuck below. I've searched for meaning amidst doubt. I finally figured that part out. And all the stories inside me feels like I'm bursting at the seams. And you're here after Trading my yesterday is to wish my life away. Looking for something, old timer? Fuck, here comes round two. <laughs> it's been a while, huh? A long while. You haven't changed much. And whose fault is that now? Listen, I wish it was under better circumstances, but... I know. I wish I still had the time to tell you about all that's happened since then. It's okay. I was there. I'm only here to say goodbye. Just tell me one thing, though. Do you still have any regrets? Regrets. Yeah, I have a lot of those. But that's okay. The chances I missed, the mishaps, and all that I wish I had. Well, they were all still a part of it. They made way for all I all that I do have. And what I do have wouldn't trade for anything else in the world. That's all I wish to hear. Go on. They're waiting for you. It's time to go home. Hey, Colin. Sorry I had to leave back then. Thank you for having... Fuck. <laughs> Thank you for having been there, 
even when nobody else was. I'm not going to recover from that. I'm in pain. That was heartbreaking. I'm a mess right now. But, uh... He really didn't need their help. The story was as beautiful as it was heart-wrenching. And I enjoyed every second of it. I hate how these bittersweet stories just really get to me. I, I hate myself for, for uh, playing them. But yeah, that was a really, really great story. I can't wait to see what they have planned next. But until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time. Uh, there probably will be an epilogue, so we'll get to that, and then I'll see you soon. See you in the next video. Bye. Sup? Where are you? Am I Scotch? Drinking home? <laughs> you said you'd be here. You said I'd visit like we always do, not attend a funeral. When was the last time we even did that? I know, but I just thought we owe it to him after... Dr. Rosaline? We're about to start. Go on, I'll get my turn. Alright, enjoy your scotch. You know it. Now, where were we? What? What is he doing now? Ooh, not looking sketchy at all, Neil. I asked you to knock, not hack my lock. Switching to digital was a terrible idea. Why do you just keep both locks on? Dagnabbit, Rob. I don't know why she even got you involved. Look, we don't have long. Are you guys still in or not? What? You betcha. So, is that the solution you were talking about? Yeah, that's her. What? 
So they're gonna use they're gonna use Fay. That's like a oh my god, what? I still don't understand. Whatever it is, it's fucked up. I was wondering when they were gonna explain Neil's shit. <sighs> Damn. Alright, see you guys. Bye. Oh shit. <laughs> I almost forgot to start recording. Oh no. One, two, three.